I'm not really sure how to start this video um, because I know a lot of people out there won't understand how someone could let their house get like this. I am a long-standing sufferer of depression and anxiety and I didn't even know that that's what it was until after I moved out of my family home. But I have known that this has been a part of me for over five years now and what I really want to do is stop just accepting that this is always going to be a part of me and to try and actually get myself as better as I can. I see those girls on TikTok with those perfect houses and the cleaning videos that I just really, really aspire to do. And I thought to myself, why can't I? Why do I have to be the person who accepts that I have depression and anxiety and sink into it and never do anything because today is a good day. And yes, my house looks disgusting. And yes, I am well aware of that and I hate living in it. And yes, I fully do expect a comment section full of trolls telling me that I shouldn't be living like this and that I need help or her home elsewhere or a cleaner to come in, but I can't afford any of that. So this TikTok is holding myself responsible, holding myself responsible for my medical condition, holding myself responsible knowing that everything that I do, although it's not my fault that I have depression and anxiety, I can still try and try to do something about it, try not to live in this mess and try to make myself the best person that I can be, the best version of me, while it's a good day. So this is my attempt to clean my life up and live my best life. With depression and anxiety, I'm proud of that, not ashamed of who I am, and to try and make myself the best I can be. I'm going to start by cleaning this bathroom, and although it's small, it's a big step. Please like and follow for Ashley's new life journey.